I just wanted to work. <laughs> I just. If you've ever screamed into the void wondering why your ad spend isn't spending smarter, we got you. Say hello to Conversions API, the not so secret weapon to get Meta's algorithm working for you. Cleaner data, better targeting, and ROI that doesn't make you cry. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set it up in Minichat. Fast, easy, and no tech degree required. Let's get you tracking, converting, and winning. Ready? Let's roll. So first, let's go to settings. I'm in my Minichat account, and then I'm going to Instagram, and you know, go to the ads optimization section, and you'll see conversion API right here. Now it might also look like this, depending on how your account's set up. You see? Settings, Instagram, Meta Conversions API, and you can connect through Facebook or with a data set and token. Uh, connecting through Facebook depends on if the Instagram account that you have connected is connected to your meta business suite and connected to your ads manager. So I suggest giving it a try. And if it doesn't work, you can always do the data set and token way. Um, in addition, if you want to connect um, WhatsApp or Messenger, you have to connect each of those channels individually, um, unfortunately, as it stands right now. OK, so I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to Instagram and as you can see, Meta Conversion API. So over here on the right, you can see our Help Center article right here. This will give you a step-by-step -step guide as well. But for now, I'm just gonna go to Events Manager. And you'll have to create a data source. So um, I've already done this. So this is something that you can look at in the Help Center article as well. Basically, you'll need to create a new data source by, by clicking on Connect Data Sources right here. But I've already have it connected. So, and also make sure that you have the right business portfolio selected. So you might have several signed into. Make sure you have the ads, canal, ads account that's connected to your Instagram account, like your main chat account is connected to. So it can get pretty complicated. Basically, just click around until you see your uh, appropriate account pop up. But as you can see, I have data source right here. And then this is um, the data source I had created for Cappy. So I'm going to click here and go to settings. And then here's a data set ID, right, under detail. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll go back here and then enter that in the data set ID. And then now I have to find a token. I usually just do Control F, token, awesome. Generate access tokens under conversions API. And bang. And enable. Awesome. Now it's enabled. So. This little toggle right here, basically anytime that you are doing an ad campaign and you can elect phone number, email, um, stuff like that will automatically send that event to your advertising campaign for you. So it'll automatically be um, registered and optimized in your advertising campaign. Now I'll show you how you can manually do that as well. We'll pretend that this is the automation that we're using for our ad campaigns. So call this one Cappy test. And then we're going to go here and we'll click user clicks and Instagram ad. Awesome. We'll save it for now. And we have to make sure that this campaign is good. So we'll say, hey, are you interested in a free guide? Quick reply. Yes. Especially, yes. Awesome. Okay. And then we'll have both of these go to the next one, which will be an Instagram message. And this one will be data collection. And we're going to say, awesome. Send me your email. My face. And then we'll change the reply type to email. And then I can edit these if I want to, but for this example, I'm not going to. And then the action on reply, when someone replies with their email, we're going to go to actions, ads optimizations, and do send event to meta conversion API. Amazing conversion type, lead submitted, channel is Instagram. You can change the channel. Make sure, like I said, you have to have these channels specifically connected. And then lead submitted, 
is the conversion type, but you can also choose from any of these. And all of these are going to be sent back to your ads campaign. Uh, if it's purchased, you can also go in and change the purchase price that someone bought for. But for this example, we're going to do lead submitted. And we'll just stick with this example. I know it's simple. Ideally, you would be more, um, be more complicated than this. But in this example, we're just going to stick with it nice and easy. Cool. Awesome. So now I'm going to show you what this looks like in the ads manager. So this is my ads manager, and once again, this is the correct business portfolio that's linked with my uh, Instagram account on Minichat. I'm going to create a new campaign, and we're going to choose between traffic, engagement, or sales. All of these allow you to make the call to action a Instagram message. So on this example, we're going to go engagement. Click manual. Um, we're going to go copy test one okay and then we're gonna go next messaging apps we're just going to stick to instagram for this example daily budget set your budget okay we're going to go use existing posts i'm going to use this one okay all right and down here where it says message template we're going to select partner app and we're going to do select below mini chat. And now under partner app, we're going to select mini chat and then do message flow. And you'll see Cappy test right here, which is the flow that we made in mini chat. And if you don't see this because we're just setting this up, uh, give it maybe a couple minutes because it'll take a little bit for this to show up in ads manager, but it should show up. And as you can see, um, you can see yes. And especially yes, is our options right here. So I'll click finish. And then as for tracking, make sure to not select any of these options because um, Cappy will automatically work. So as far as tracking goes, you don't need to do anything for this section. And here you click publish and all of a sudden your ad will be running and your conversion API will be optimized using mini chat. And on the screen now you're seeing what you'll see in the ads manager after you're getting leads sent from main chat to the ads manager. So you'll have a new column that says meta leads. And also you should see uh, meta purchases if you're using the purchases called action. And that's a wrap. Now you're not just running ads, you're running smart ads. If you have questions, hit up our help center or drop a comment below. We love our geek out sessions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and connect your conversions API so you can show your data who's boss. More conversions, less confusions. Let's make it happen.